Good morning, everyone. Coach Sullivan here again with you at MJS Coaching Football. Just quickly, uh, this is my 38th year coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as the head coach at both the collegiate and high school levels. Today, what I'd like to talk to you about in our match quarters coverage concept is our um, three by one check to a specific formation only that we call Topeka. And what that means is three wide receivers on one side and what we call single width, which means a tight end on the other side. So this is a very unique formation. So therefore, the only time we use what we call check turbo, which is automatic, it's for Topeka only. And the best part is the rules are the same as they are in check steel. However, the alignment is what gets affected on the three receiver side. Okay. So first thing I want to make sure you understand is check turbo. Remember, check means change. Turbo is for Topeka only, whatever you call this formation. The formation is really cranked to one side. Okay, it's almost like too many people on one side of a boat, so it's starting to tip over, right? So we match that by cranking our coverage, okay? So unless I made a Pittsburgh tag, which is another lecture for, for uh, Topeka, or it's in the game plan, or it's an adjustment, this is what we do. So here is the tweak. Corner is still one by seven outside, okay? And I haven't talked about if he's south of the numbers or any of that stuff. That's a whole nother lecture. What we do in turbo is the free sit. Now, this is assuming the offense comes out in Tur Topeka, okay? Free safety cranks down over two, and per our rules anyway, automatic adjustment, the outside linebacker goes in on three. And that's the rule, even if it's a motion that trips, outside linebacker comes in on three. Safety rotates, screws down over two. When it's a safety, S screws, we say screw down. That's safety. Okay? So then, think the rope concept in previous lectures. The safety is tied to the hip of the whip, so when the safety screws down, it pulls the whip over. Okay? So therefore, we got our one, two, three, four over three. Now, the whip remains at 12 yards and just splits the difference between two and three. Okay? And so, same rules as check steel in the sense that three by one, right? Outside linebacker over three, jams three, curl over the per. Now, the free safety is not outside linebacker, but nonetheless... He's positioned as if he were an outside linebacker, so he jams two flat wheel. Safety still has three to two vertical. Field corner still has two to one vertical, okay, which is check steel. So that's the simplicity part of it. Again, turbo is mostly the alignment adjustment on the three receiver side, okay? So I cannot emphasize that part enough. Inside linebacker. Same, right? So the assignments are the same for these five defenders as they are in check steel. Boom, done. Again, keep it simple. So over on the one receiver side, here's the, another difference for Turbo, and it's because of the formation itself, Topeka. Now, in the pistol, or even when the back is offset to the tight end, Okay, you still really only have one immediate receiving threat, the tight end. Okay, and you have one, two defenders, he's the third. Okay, so if the running back is in pistol or offset away from the tight end, the rover's automatic rush. I mean, boom, there is the built in, right, uh, adjustment and the. the the built-in fourth rusher. So check turbo builds in. There's your fourth rusher that the offense isn't aware of, and then boom, it's pass. He's rushing. So this means pass, right? So it's a run. Tight ends drive block, and he's playing a run like always. He's releasing, and he hears pass and sees pass. Go get him, baby. All right, so it's a four-man rush concept, and we still have two 
over 1 plus 1, right? We got 4 over 3 plus 1 by alignment, but we actually have plus 2 because we have 5 defenders to take care of 3. Alrighty. Now, the, the other adjustment, since the, the rope concept applies to the corner as well, when the whip gets pulled over, it pulls the corner back to what we say just 2 by 8, and it's cloud. So on the run, this is still eight technique in previous lectures, eight technique. He's still a spill defender, tight end down, ass and ankle, the whole thing, keeping the head outside, right? Reach block, knock it back, keep the head outside because he's still a 51 technique, C-gap, the whole deal. So what's meant by read half tight end to running back, obviously if the tight end is vertical, corner has him. Boom done okay so again what we're referring to is if the backs in pistol or offset away from the tight end if the running back now were to go in the pattern the linebacker has it okay so we're still technically plus one because now they have to account for the fourth rusher all right so over here as you see peel tag when the running back is offset to the tight end, this is automatic, the rover or the boundary corner in this case or the linebacker, any one of them makes the peel call, which means on pass, the running back is in the pattern, the rover peels off. Because as soon as the off back's offset, there's your number two. And so to be plus one, one, two, three, he makes, he's the peel guy for the running back. And he would take the running back on any type of wheel or outside release. Inside linebacker would take the running back inside. So they're going to combo the running back. Okay, again, plus one. So the biggest coaching point here is one, turbo is Topeka only. This formation, whatever you call it. The adjustment is mostly the formation, the way we line up to it. So the rope by the safety screwing down pulls the other safety order and pulls the, the other corner back. Okay. The assignments are the same as check steel. The difference over here, recognize running back for me. Again, previous lecture is very important to know that it's pistol. It's to the tight end. It's away tight end. When there's a tight end, that's how we signify it. And then when he's to that tight end, or if there is a real tendency that the back's going to release, we'll make it an automatic peel as well. Okay, that gives us the plus one for the immediate receiving threat, which would be the running back. Okay, so please, as always, if you have any questions at all, reach out to me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.